And of course, we start off with that Finance Act. The court is at the moment hearing the case challenging the recently enacted finance law. Now, the court is expected to give further directions today after it halted its operationalization. Uh, let us link up with our reporter, David Mudoka, who is keenly following that particular story. David is joining us via phone link. What is being said in court today, David? Good afternoon. And of course, you and our viewer will recall that on Friday last week, the High Court suspended the implementation of the Finance Act 2023 after some petitioners, among them Busia Senator Okia Omtata, moved to court to challenge its constitutionalism. And so today, uh, that very legal battle has resumed. And we have seen the government side, led by Attorney General, uh, go to court seeking that the orders suspending the implementation of that finance act lifted. And of course, we have seen uh, Attorney General Justin Muturi enlist the services of former, immediate former Attorney General Gido Muigai, as well as senior lawyer Kiragu Kimani and Mahat Somane. Uh, move to the High Court before Lady Justice Mugure Dande uh, to seek uh, the very uh, to seek prayers for the suspension of the conservatory orders that put to hold uh, the very implementation of Finance Act 2023. And so their argument is with the suspension of the Finance Act, uh, key government operations that are financed by the taxpayer have since ground to a halt. And so they want. Um, for services to resume and to continue, uh, they want uh, the Finance Act to kick off, uh, its implementation to kick off as soon as possible. But then uh, their prayers have been met by opposition from the petitioners who in the first place want to challenge uh, the constitutionalism of the Finance Act 2023. And that includes Okia Omtata, uh, Senator Dan Manzo, as well as Rarieda MP Otiende Amolo, who insist that there is no way that uh, uh, with the suspension of Finance Act 2023, then there is no way uh, that uh, the government services could have ground to a halt. They say with that suspension, only the new taxes have not been implemented. But uh, the other taxes contained in the old Finance Act continue to be in place. And so they insist that uh, uh, the very government side is misleading the court. And again, another prayer from uh, the petitioners, and that is actually from the film matter, is that um, they want IPRA Managing Director Daniel T. Brown in jail for being in contempt of court. They say, after announcing the new fuel prices that have since take, uh, taken effect, um, and those very prices are contained in uh, the IPRA MD. Um, um, content of court. And so, uh, Okio Mkata is seeking uh, the very little to throw uh, the extra managing director and CEO the content of court. And so, since 9 a.m., that is the battle that we have been witnessing right here at the Minimani Local. And we hope that the Lady Council will be making a determination to that is the uh, the various players that have been raised uh, before completing this matter uh, that has already attracted a massive number of people. So we are going to monitor how uh, it is and how it is going to be. Uh, what decision eventually we will be seeing the court next? Okay. David Mudoka is following that and of course shall keep us up to date on that. Let's move on to another controversial story.